um, tentang uh, tata tertib ya untuk peserta bilateral webinar uh, untuk hari ini diharapkan um, untuk uh, peserta untuk menghidupkan uh, kamera uh, dan juga untuk mengikuti uh, rangkaian uh, acara kita untuk di hari ini ya. Uh, Oke, okay. so untuk hari ini kita mulai saja. Okay. So, let's get started. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, Ya, ya ayuhal ladzina amanu hal adulukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adzabin alim. Good morning to our beloved uh, audience today. First of all, I welcome you all to uh, EFL virtual tour. So this bilateral uh, webinar entitled Getting to Know Australian Sporting Culture, EFL tour in North Sumatra Utara 2022, which is supported by Al Wasliyah University or Unifa Medan and the Australian government through the alumni uh, grant scheme, uh, which is administered by Australia Awards in Indonesia. So for this fantastic webinar, I will be the moderator. My name is Nisa. I am lecturer at Al Wasliyah University of Sumatra Utara and I'm a sport lover. We are so grateful for the audience who are here today. Uh, salute for all the students from Al Wasia University. So we also invite uh, students from Medan University, Politeknik ne uh, Negeri Medan, Kreatif PSDKU Medan, Muhammadiyah University, and all of the audience. Also, we would like to greet um, some lectures here. Um, I think it's Paul Thomas. Uh, from Monash University, um, uh, Australia. Uh, thank you for joining us. And also, uh, Septiani, Bapak Sep Ibu, or Bapak Septiani Nur Apia, uh, from EIN Salatiga, and all of the audience, indeed. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are so grateful for all of the supports as well to Felicia Beningasibuan, the owner of Lenny Home. Um, Sonia Monica Siombing, founder Women for Indonesia, and Sofia Mawada, founder uh, Partner Kebaikan. Thank you for supporting this event. Um, I would like to mention the highlight for today's event. So the first is the Holy Quran recitation from UNIFA student, and then the welcoming speech from Vice Rector 3 of Al Wasliyah University. And we will have sharing session with Benjamin Gills about Australian sporting culture and sharing session with Anna Surjanto about her experience in playing footy in Australia. We will have Kiana session and lastly, we will take a photo together. So please stay tuned with us till the end of the event. Now, uh, let's start the first activity, so which is listening to the Quran recitation and the translation in Bahasa by Muanglana Zulfi. He is a student in the Faculty of Teacher and Training, majoring in English department. So, Zulfi, uh, time is yours, please. Uh, I think you, you are mute. Zulfi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa qala lahum nabiyuhum inna allaha qad Ba'atha lakum taluta malika Qalu anna yakunu lahul mulku alayna wa nah 
nu ahaku bil mulk wa nahnu ahaku bil mulk min hu wa lam yu tasa'atam min Qala inna Allah mustafa hu alaykum wa jada Tatam fil ilmi wal jism Wallahu yu'ti mulkahu man yasha Wallahu wasi'un ali Sadaqallahu al-azim Dengan menyebut nama Allah yang maha pengasih lagi maha penyayang Dan Nabi mereka berkata kepada mereka, sesungguhnya Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala telah mengangkat Tolut menjadi rajamu. Mereka menjawab, bagaimana Tolut memperoleh kerajaan atas kami, sedangkan kami lebih berhak atas kerajaan itu darinya. Dan dia tidak diberi kekayaan yang banyak. Nabi menjawab, Allah telah memilihnya menjadi raja. Dan memberikan kelebihan ilmu dan fisik. Allah memberikan kerajaannya kepada siapa yang dia kehendaki. Dan Allah maha luas, maha mengetahui. Maha benar Allah dengan segala firman-Nya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Zulfi for your beautiful voice. So next is the welcoming speech from uh, Vice Rector 3 of Al-Wasliyah University. Um, for today, actually at our university, there is inauguration of the rector. So all of the vice rectors, dean and lecturers actually um, unable to attend the event. However, they give us the beautiful recording to open our event today. So here is the video. I'm going to share it to you today. Um, Okay, I'll wait, I will share the screen. There we go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya ayyuhalladina amanu hal adullukum. على تجارة تنجيك من عذاب أليم تؤمنون بالله ورسوله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالكم وأنفسكم ذلك خير لكم إن كنتم
Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for bringing us from the darkness to the lightness. I am Dr. M. Shukri Azhar Lubis, Minister of Art as Vice Rector 3 of University Al Wasliyah Medan. As the representative of UNIVA, I would like to express our gratitude and honor for the invitation of the collaboration with Australian Global Alumni. Thanks you to Anna for proposing this event to us. Also to the honorable speaker Benjamin Gills, the Jakarta Bintas IFL Nation President. Thanks so much for sharing your spirit and understanding about your sporting culture to our student and uh, audience. We are so happy that this event that this event is held today. Though I could not come virtually science, we do have inauguration and university at the moment. Before we kick the start the event, on behalf of our state university, I open this evening by saying Basmala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope this event will be great success. Thank you all. Thanks so much. And the last I see you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All right, so uh, that is a message, a uh, recording message from our Vice Rector 3. Uh, so we will moving on to our main event. Uh, and I will tell you all the speakers today, who is our speaker today in Bahasa Indonesia. Okay, jadi untuk speaker yang pertama, itu adalah the Honorable Benjamin Gills. Beliau adalah presiden dari klub AFL di Jakarta. Nah, uh, siapa beliau? Ini uh, adalah tulisannya ya. Saya coba untuk translate dalam bahasa Indonesia. Uh, puluhan, puluhan tahun yang lalu, Ben Gills itu menyukai olahraga bola kaki di Australia. Nah, jadi uh, di Adelaide, ya, uh, dan di pertengahan tahun 1970-an, dia terus bermain bola sampai tahun 1993, uh, dan akhirnya pindah ke Jakarta. Selama enam tahun, Ben bekerja di firma hukum dan di konstruksi lapangan golf. Dan di tahun 1995, beliau menjadi bagian dari Jakarta Bintang Football Club. Di tahun 1999, Ben pindah ke Australia untuk melanjutkan pendidikan Master of Commerce atau perdagangan di University of New South Wales. Dan 20 tahun berikutnya membangun karir pada investasi dan perdagangan internasional di Badan Pemerintah Australia ataupun NGO yang berlokasi di Sydney, Canberra, Jakarta, Adelaide, dan Bangkok. Nah, di Bangkok tahun 2012, Ben mengikuti klub olahraga bola kaki yang bernama Thailand Tigers. Dan di tahun 2018, kembali ke Indonesia untuk ketiga kalinya, bekerja sebagai perwakilan komisaris perdagangan dan investasi Queensland di Jakarta. Nah, saat ini ia kembali ke cinta pertamanya, Jakarta Bintang Football Club sebagai presiden. Oke, okay. nah jadi... Uh, Sebelum kita mulai, teman-teman, uh, untuk yang ingin bertanya nanti kepada Ben Gills, boleh menuliskan pertanyaannya di kolom chat, uh, atau boleh bertanya langsung nanti di sesi tanya-jawab dalam bahasa Indonesia atau bahasa Inggris, ya, karena ini bilateral webinar, jadi kita memfasilitasi dua bahasa. So, you can speak in bahasa or you can speak in English. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, so uh, Ben, here is Ben. Uh, thank you so much for being here with us today, Ben. Thank you. Terima kasih, um, Icha, and yes. uh, selamat pagi semua. Um, yeah, my name is Ben Giles. I'm president of, of uh, the Jakarta Bintang uh, Football Club here in Jakarta, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Um, Yeah, hari ini saya mau bicara tentang uh, olahraga ada di Australia. Um, maybe we go to the slide. Can we share the slides at all? Here we go. Thanks, Anna. Okay. So I might just talk a little bit about olahraga di Australia. Um, so sport is um, 
is bagian dari um, budaya kami. Um, itu penting sekali untuk budaya Australia. Um, we start when we're very, very young there. Um, kami mulai sport dari usia mula, muda. Yeah? So when I started maybe in SD, in class SD, um, saya belajar swimming, renang, uh, football, um, bola kaki, um, bola basket, bola volley, athletic, everything. And swimming, of course, renang was very important. Um, so it's very, very important. It's, it's about participacy, but also about healthy living, yeah? And community, so kehidupan sehat dan komunitas as well. It's very, very important to us. Um, can I go to the next slide, please? So we, um, that's it. So it's very much about healthy living and community. Um, negara Australia, yang, yang negara modern, we're a young country, yeah? We're very young. Um, we have heroes, uh, national heroes, Palawan uh, Nacional, uh, dari bagian science and politic and um, economy um, and, and culture and budaya and science. And, but most of our Palawan, our heroes, are from Olaraga, <laughs> from sport. Can I go to the next slide, please? Here are some of our heroes that everyone in Australia knows. So we have Don Bradman from cricket, which I don't know. Maybe it's a bit like baseball, I guess. But that's from a long time ago. Everyone. Smoa rang de Australia and now see Don Bradman. Next, at a Don Fraser, yeah. Renang in 1950s. Next. Barassi from football. That's my football, yeah? So, um, yeah, bola, bola kaki, Australia. Next is more current. She's a sporting hero. Everyone knows Ash Barty in tennis. And another one is current one, Sam Kerr in Sepa Bola. Now, I said before that sport is very important to us. We will play sport. Um, I'll just look at um, young sport, young paling dilakukan atau di participasi di Australia, the most participated sports in Australia. Um, next slide, please. So one of those is uh, netball. Uh, it's with 800,000 players. So that's um, uh, young di registrasi, yeah? Next is probably rugby league with uh, Satu Juta pemain. Next is, here we go, cricket again with about 1 million. Cricket is played in Musim Panas, yeah? And rugby and all sepak bola is played in Musim, uh, Musim Dingin. Next is tennis. Again, about 1 million players. In Australia, we have 25 juta orang, yeah? Um, bola basket, 1,1 juta um, yang di registrasi, yeah? Next is, yes, my game, football, AFL. So it's 1,5 juta orang. And then we have sepak bola which is very popular. And of course, Australia has made the, this year's uh, World Cup, Piala Dunia in uh, Qatar. Next is cycling, very popular. So one in 10 people, 10% 10 of people do cycling in Australia. And of course, most popular is still Renan. It's 3 million people are swimming in Australia. And that's a very nice uh, 
Golam in, I think it's in Bondi in Sydney, or maybe Coogee, I think Bondi. Um, next slide, please. I might just talk about um, Australian football in Indonesia. Now, uh, at a Tiga team, there's my team, Jakarta Pintans. There's a team in Bali called Bali Gecko and one in Balik Papan called the Borneo Bears. Next slide, please. So my team, this is the Bintangs here. Um, we were uh, in Bediri Paratown, um, 1995. We're a very community club. Again, uh, we, play, we play games at a Patanding Andi, uh, Indonesia, um, but also uh, at a team, Sekitar, um, Asia, Juga, yeah. So we played throughout Asia in Singapore. Later, Ahir Bulanini, Kami Pergi ke Kuala Lumpur, at a Patanangan Lawan Malaysian Warriors. So we played there one weekend. And then Bulan Gotoba, maybe this championship, at a championship, the Bangkok with all teams. So, um, Young Dulu, our team, we, it was mainly the Pemain of Jakarta Pintang, mainly uh, Orang Asing. Now um, we have about, yeah, 100 members, yeah? And Mayoritas Orang Indonesia, which is great. Um, and now many women playing as well. So we have junior and women and men as well. And our motto is, it's, it's just healthy and we welcome and it's fun. And, and that's, that's what we want. Everyone welcome. And uh, yeah, Samoa Bisa join. And um, yeah, mudah mudahan kami akan main di Medan. So uh, I think that's all. Thank you. Next slide. I think I've just got, yeah, there's a photo of us playing maybe two weeks ago. And that's me there <laughs> with, with Ala Tongkat from an operation on my knee. But that's our, um, that's our, one of our training sessions. We train uh, every week, Stout Mingo di Jakarta. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So, um, terima kasih, and uh, ayo, let's play. Thank you. Okay, it's lovely, Ben. Thank you very much for uh, sharing with us. And okay, so we will moving on to uh, the next speaker. However, before that, I'm going to show you about this uh, football match. So uh, there is a video that we will watch. So there we go. Berlari. Menenda. Ini bukanlah rugby, ini Australian football. Meskipun mungkin kalian pernah mendengarnya dipanggil dengan Aussie Rules atau Fury. Australian football adalah olahraga terbesar di Australia dan sekarang dimainkan secara profesional oleh 18 tim di AFL. Memiliki rata-rata kehadiran tertinggi keempat dari setiap liga olahraga domestik di dunia. Aussie Rules dimainkan di lapangan football mungkin lebih besar dari apa yang kalian pernah lihat. Dengan bola berbentuk lur yang bisa memantul kencang. Setiap tim terdiri dari 18 pemain di lapangan dan 4 pemain di bangku cadangan. Pemain AFL adalah atlet yang luar biasa. Ukuran mereka sebesar pemain basket dengan kecepatan kaki secepat wide receiver NFL dan stamina seperti pemain sepak bola. Tenaga juga merupakan atribut penting bagi pemain AFL karena permainan ini agresif dan memperbolehkan tackling. 
Tujuan dasar dari Australian Football adalah membawa bola ke ujung lapangan untuk mencetak gol. Ada tiga cara untuk membawa bola. Sambil berlari, tapi harus dipantulkan setiap 15 meter. Dengan menggunakan kepalan tangan dan dipukul ke depan. Cara ini disebut handball, sebuah keterampilan unik Aussie Rule. Dan tentu saja, cara yang paling umum dengan ditendang. Begitu berada di posisi cetak gol, kuncinya adalah menendang bola melewati dua tiang tegak yang besar. Satu gol bernilai 6 poin. Jika bola yang kalian tendang mengenai tiang atau di antara tiang besar dan tiang luar yang rendah, itu bernilai satu poin dan disebut behind. Ada empat quarter masing-masing berdurasi 20 menit. Tapi seperti waktu sepak bola yang bisa ditambahkan pada saat pertandingan terhenti, waktu tambahan bisa mencapai 10 menit per quarter. Musim pertandingan AFL berlangsung dari bulan Maret hingga September setiap tahunnya. Para tim AFL memainkan 22 pertandingan musim reguler, dan pada akhir musim, 8 tim teratas masuk ke final. Nantinya, dua tim akan bertemu di Grand Final yang dilaksanakan pada Sabtu terakhir bulan September. Ini adalah Super Bowl Australia, dan dimainkan setiap tahun di Melbourne Cricket Ground yang megah dengan lebih dari 90 ribu lebih penggemar. Australian football adalah pertandingan yang besar. Ada pertanyaan? Hubungi kami di afl.com.au dan di Twitter at AFL. Oke, okay. so that is interesting. Hopefully uh, there will be EFL in Medan ya. Oke, okay, so now we will go to the second speaker. Untuk speaker yang kedua kita uh, adalah the honorable, beautiful lady, Anna Surjanto. Anna dan Australia ini best friend ya. Jadi an, uh, ada banyak kegiatan work related dan penghargaan yang diterima oleh Anna. Beliau uh, menempuh pendidikan S2 di Monash University, Australia tahun 2016 sampai 2018 dengan jurusan Master of Social. Dan untuk kegiatan sosial uh, ada juga banyak voluntary uh, voluntary ya yang dia uh, yang beliau lakukan mulai dari PPI Australia, guest speaker di Tibra Overseas, IDP dan lainnya dan juga penghargaan mulai dari Australian Alumni Grand Scheme 2019 dari Australia Awards Indonesia, dua penghargaan yaitu Mark of the Year and Coach Award dari Melbourne Krakatoa Football Club Australia, lalu juga the most contributed awardee of LPDP ya, penghargaan atas awardee LPDP yang paling banyak berkontribusi dan juga yang paling terpenting adalah EFL Asia's First Female Coach in Indonesia. Plat wanita pertama olahraga putih AFL di Asia uh, oleh AFL Coaching Accreditation Scheme. Yeah. So we are so proud to have you, Anna. Uh, Anna also manages Indonesia uh, student sports staff. Um, yang, uh, jadi untuk di sharing ini beliau akan menjelaskan tentang uh, pengalamannya ya uh, menjadi coach dan juga uh, mengikuti olahraga putih di Australia. So Anna, please uh, silakan. Yeah, thank you so much, Icha, for this wonderful opportunity. Good morning, everyone. Semangat semuanya ya. Tentunya semangat ya. Apalagi ini topiknya tentang sport and especially about FL, about footy. Bulannya seperti ini ya. Nah, sambil aku tunjukin slideshow PPT-nya. Uh, sebentar ya. Ini. Nah, kita lihat bersama-sama ya. Pasti kan pada penasaran tuh. Apa sih EFL gitu kan? Meskipun tadi, thank you so much Ben, before you explain a bit about a sport, Australian sporting culture, especially EFL, just still, uh, you know, a little bit. And this one, I will focus on my experience about EFL footy and why I choose this sport, you know. Okay, let me start from the first one. Uh, So actually, what is this? As you can see that the ball is unique, right? Because the ball is uh, oval, like egg, you know, uh, and also Ben already bring the uh, the ball as well. And also I bring this ball, putty ball, and also you can see here. So the ball is like this. This is officially called Australian Football League, or you can call Australian Rules Football, or Aussie Rules, or just simply called footy, the slang word from football. 
and this is really you know authentic original from Australia. You can just shortly call footy, yeah. Kayak manggil chocolate choki, so football footy. So this is very easy to remember the name footy. I love this game when I was studying at Australia at Monash University from 2016 until 18 for two years taking my master program in Monash education. So I am thinking that uh, I need to be healthy as well. You know, besides I study about academic, I need to be healthy. And then I am curious about what is the most Australian favorite sport and then Wow, based on the internet, on the news, FL is really popular, it's really famous for Melbourneian, for all Australian, but especially Melbourne. So, and then I find out on information, there is a Krakatoa club, which is mixed Australian and Indonesian in Melbourne, and then we play together. So, I join Krakatoa club. This is the club, so we play the game, basically with local people in Melbourne. Uh, AFL7, we play with the local people in Australia. And then this is my friend, my Krakatoa's friend in Melbourne. And at the time, why I choose this? Because, you know, this is not only support, even we watch together the AFL game. And then, uh, you know, my coach also encouraged me. Even, uh, even I can only kick simple yeah. way, but they encourage us, you know, Anna, good job. Well done. So it made me really excited and I joined the training every Sunday. So I know AFL or footy basically from Krakatoa. Then I went home to Indonesia after I finished my study in Australia. I went home in 2018 and I'm so happy that in Indonesia also there is Jakarta Bintangs, which is Ben is the president of this club. So I'm happy. I still, you know, I still want to play footy, but then I need, you know, a club who support me as well. I joined the training and this one is one of the training with school in Jakarta with the Jakarta Bintangs, you know, uh, basically uh, there are three basic rule. I mean, basic skill in footy uh, like that one you can see is a hand pass, you know, um, this is the picture first to give you imagination and feel how FL game a basic skill look like this one is hand pass and the second one is uh, marking and then the third one is kicking so i still love footy and i want to play footy in indonesia and also currently i live in uh, south tangerang which is close to jakarta and then i join jakarta bintang and jakarta bintang also support in uh, developing footy in indonesia and then uh, sometimes with the bintang women we play in uh, in, in Gelora Bung Karno field, you know, uh, we play footy and then uh, that is why after my skill improve, I still want to develop more. I mean, uh, I need to, to improve my skill as well as contribute something to Indonesian, especially Indonesian women. And because I was born in Central Java, so when I went home in Central Java, uh, I, you know, I organized a FL clinic in Central Java. And you know what? So you can see these pictures. There are so many girls who join FL clinic in Central Java. And uh, at, the, at the beginning, the girls, actually, this is in Salatiga City, Salatiga City, Central Java. Jadi ini di kota salah tiga Jawa Tengah ya, cewek-ceweknya tuh awal-awal malu gitu. Awal-awal malu, oh, kok cewek main sepak bola gitu ya. Tapi ternyata yuk kita coba gitu ya. Ternyata banyak yang datang, mereka ketawa-tawa senang karena bolanya lucu. Terus juga ternyata permainannya unik gitu. Jadi ini salah satunya ya. Dan uh, saya senang sekali perempuan-perempuan di Jawa Tengah selain bisa sehat, Terus mereka juga saling kenal sama teman-temannya, saling menyemangati gitu. Biasanya kan pada malu gitu di awal-awal. Eh ternyata setelah main beberapa kali di training, mereka lebih percaya diri. Terus mereka juga mulai terbentuk kebiasaan berolahraganya gitu. Nah terus ini juga masih di Jawa Tengah. So you can see how the game AFL training in Central Java look like. Uh, the girls are trying, you know, to hand pass and then hand pass itu mengoper bola ya ke temannya. Jadi kan mereka harus manggil 
nama temannya jadi semakin akrab semakin cair gitu suasananya terus juga setelah uh, hand pass mereka harus belajar melengkap atau marking ya terus setelah itu nanti kalau sudah semakin lancar ya kita main beneran kayak football uh, terus berarti ada kicking nendang nah ini hanya sekilas dulu this is uh, overview I mean you can Uh, have some picture in your mind about FL clinic look like, especially in Central Java, because uh, this FL is very unique, and I'm so excited. Then I, uh, you know, want to spread this FL spirit, and this is in Central Java, and really, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, and this is also the picture, and this is the last one. So thank you so much. This is my FL experience. And if you have any question, then we can discuss later. Yep. Thank you very much, Anna, for uh, sharing your experience. So yeah, we are going to the next uh, session, which is uh, Q&A. Um, is there any of you who would like to ask Anna? But Maybe before we open, Anna, uh, would you like to share, Anna, your um, coaching um, story? Perhaps if you have the video, you can share uh, to us. Yes, uh, thank you. Let me show you on a video. Wait a second. Okay, can you see? Okay, let's play. Yeah. Yeah, let's play with me in Medan. <laughs> okay. Yep. So thank you Anna untuk sharing foto-fotonya selama menjadi coach ya uh, di IAN Salatiga. Alright. Uh, so now I will open for the Kiana session. Kira-kira uh, ada yang ingin bertanya mungkin bisa uh, raise hand ya uh, untuk teman-teman yang uh, ingin bertanya. Oh, so yep. Uh, Pak Arshad Aurelio from Unair. Yes, so this is a lecture. So uh, no, I'm, I'm actually joining. a student from. Oh, you're a student. Okay. So, yeah, from Erlangga University. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, okay. moderator. Silakan. Uh, my name yeah. is Arshad. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Benjamin Gills and Madam Anna Surya. Uh, I'm an international relations student from Erlangga University. And uh, I've written an article about football as a general terms when and we know that football is actually a term to six different sports right so soccer Aussie rules great iron both Canadian and American uh, Gaelic football and the most the big the most ultimate form I think is international rules football which is the hybrid between Australian football and Gaelic football right so uh, I'm I'm also a great iron football player myself. I'm playing for Erlanga University team in the regional league of great iron football. Uh, when we train in the local uh, field, there are always uh, local people, they're saying, oh, you're playing rugby, you're playing rugby. So that's, that's the same thing. Like, uh, is that rugby ball? No, that's, that's a different sport, even though the, the ball shape is the same, right? So I think, uh, as we can see, Indonesia is uh, actually playing in the International Cup of AFL, right? But I think there's minimal recognition to it. I think there's almost nobody in Indonesia knew that we have a national team of Australian football and we actually play in the World Cup. Uh, I, uh, this is, I think the question would, I want to ask is, how about AFL, uh, Australian football, trying to popularize the international rules first because Indonesia knew 
soccer very well. So the adaptation is not very hard, right? From international rules and then to playing football. And my second question is, how did, uh, if the Indonesia, uh, if Indonesian player actually play Aussie football, did they have a international pathway program to play in Australia, just like NFL or CFL? Because in American football, we have international pathway program initiated by IFAF. Is that, uh, is the EFL have the same pathway program or probably you have different pathway program? Thank you. Wow. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, please, Ben. I might start, yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks so much for the, that question. And uh, yeah, I love that you're, you're playing you're playing some footy up there. Um, you're right, it is. It does look like a, a rugby ball. Um, it is a little different. Um, yeah, we need to, we, we, we've been playing football here for nearly well, more than 25 years, nearly 30 years. And um, yeah, we, 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 we started playing because we love the game and we love Indonesia. So it's it's combination of healthy sport and 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 also community and so we want to spread that we do um, we have uh, yes we have an Indonesian team that goes uh, to Australia um, we pay for it uh, the clubs so we we have to do raise money um, for that. Um, that's not paid for by Australia, by the AFL. We, so we have to find sponsors. So it's, it's hard, but it's for the boys and, and, and the, we'll have a women's team next. It's, it's a wonderful experience. We, for Pathway, yes, I, I agree. We, we have some great Indonesian players that played 2014, 2017, and we'll go again in what year? Do I'm but yeah, 2024, I think they closed because of COVID. Um, we, we want to build the sport here. We want to build the sport uh, to get more numbers, to get more players because we love it. Um, we get some support from Australia, from the AFL as well. Um, and it's some very nice support. So it's about getting more people involved um, so uh, we need more people involved to, to do training like Anna. Um, that's what we want. Um, if we have the people in Medan and Manado um, and Timor, wherever, uh, we'll be able to support and send the balls and, and do everything for you um, and, and help out. Uh, but we need people on the ground to, to work with us as well. Um, the pathway, the last one you said about pathway, yeah, with America, if in the past we've sent players uh, to Melbourne to, for, to train, that's not with AFL, that's through us and through our uh, connection in Melbourne at, at clubs. So they can learn more about football. Uh, they can play football, but they also learn about Australia as well and do some work. Uh, we want to do that again as well uh, because it's that's about the the cultural, uh, the sharing of culture. Yeah, and and that's that's why we do this. That's why we love it. So uh, thank you, and, and I look forward to seeing you in Medan. Uh, so we can play football soon. Yeah. So, can I just then add it? Okay. Uh, yes, thank, yeah, thank you also for the wonderful insight and questions. Yeah, of course, uh, there is basic rule about FL. Uh, like also you can search on the internet, but basically like uh, FL is originally from Australia, so there is the national rules, uh, which is ruled by, I mean, Australia, which is AFL, Australian Football League, like play on the grass oval with two team competes and then with 18 players. This is the national club with 18 players and then 
uh, there is rules in the playing that. But for me, uh, when I was in Melbourne, uh, this is my FL experience is with local because I'm not athlete, you know, I mean, just with local people at that time, AFL7. So we can play with the local people with uh, two team compete with seven people in a group. And then related to the pathway, basically, uh, my pathway is I studied in Australia with scholarship and then I love and I want to learn footy. And then when in, in Indonesia, I, after I come back and I'm so happy, there is uh, Jakarta Bintangs, which is uh, under IFL Indonesia. And then uh, this is the thing, Arsha, that you have to know that FL is independent. Uh, ben can correct me, but uh, as I understand, uh, AFL in Indonesia or AFL in Asia, in Indonesia, let's say, is independent, not under Ministry of Youth and Sport. That is why uh, we love that you are also excited to know about Pudi. And then, Arsha, you are from Unair, which is Surabaya. And maybe let like someday also, this is about community development as well. Uh, this is the thing that I love about AFL because AFL still... Uh, independent that's why we need pioneer uh, in this case footy teach me not only sport but also community development and leadership we need to work together to make fl familiar in indonesia because you know basically australia is our neighbor close neighbor based on geographically well but, but why not many people know about footy our uh, neighbor country uh, most favorite sport because you know uh, rugby or soccer is uh, can be from England or US but this is far away but how about Australia so and I think this is also unique that uh, in this case we need to work together if Arshad whether from Medan or Surabaya yeah. then we can yeah. also work together after this not only on this webinar then we can work together to let people in Surabaya or Medan know about FL <laughs> This is the thing that we can collaborate and then we can also uh, propose or discuss to Ben uh, in case um, people in Indonesia are getting more number uh, who want to play footy and then maybe we can collaborate with Connie or whatever but this is you have to know that this is still independent and that's why uh, we can be pioneer in Indonesia to uh, get FL is getting familiar for Indonesians. Let's say this is not just about sport, but this is also how we understand our neighbor culture and then also to develop community. Yeah, that, that is uh, yeah my additional opinion. If I could, thank you, Anna. If I could just add one quick point. Um, Ashad, you mentioned about international rules and hybrid. And Anna, Anna mentioned a really good point. Um, we have 18 on a side, but we don't do that here <laughs> sometimes, but there's no Lapangan Bola here that big enough. So we, we, it's hard to find. We have one in Chibobor and that's all. In Bali, there's one in Uluwatu. So we, some, we, we find our own rules. Uh, we'll still play with the footy or maybe young Libby Kajil. Um, and we, we, do, we do mix the rules a little bit. So uh, just to make it a bit easier, sometimes the, the tackling and the, can be a little bit frightening, a little bit scary. So yeah, it's, we, do, uh, we do modify the rules um, at, the, at the start as well to make it a bit more attractive and interesting for people. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for the answer, Ben and Anna. Jadi untuk yang pertanyaan pertama tadi uh, masih berproses ya uh, untuk menjel uh, menjelaskan tentang olahraga putih di Indonesia dan ya mungkin ada program ya semoga uh, bisa ikut untuk di program-program ketika ada uh, latihan ya untuk putih ini. Oke, okay, so pertanyaan selanjutnya, oke okay, silakan uh, Dayu untuk bertanya. So please introduce yourself and give the question. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, hi everyone, good morning. My name is Dayu. I am from University Medan. Uh, and 
I want to ask you something. Um, how is the safety in this football game for women? Maybe just that. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Dayu. Uh, maybe from Anna, you you will you would like to answer the question, Anna. Um, can you repeat that question again about is the AFL women involvement in AFL? Uh, bukan, bukan. Uh, pertanyaannya tadi adalah silakan Dayu untuk bertanya tadi. Pertanyaannya bagaimana? Apakah uh, olahraga AFL uh, foot ini safety-nya ya untuk uh, women? Apakah aman untuk uh, perempuan? Um, yeah, uh, basically there is FL rules. I mean, every sport has its consequence. Uh, sometimes it can be injury or accident or something. But AFL is softer than, you know, as you can see, like, I guess American football or rugby, I think it's like tougher and stronger. Well, uh, AFL is you know uh the the rule is strict and um and and when i was playing uh luckily i haven't got accident or injury yet but yeah of course <laughs> you have to get ready when you do hand pass uh it's technically right and then it's just fine and have fun but if sometimes you don't push it or put it on the right side and then just a bit, you know, um, yeah, it can be just a bit, uh, agak sedikit perih, yeah, if technically it's not right, when you do handball or kicking, just, uh, I think, bisa sedikit perih, yeah, sometimes, but if you get training from one training to the next training, and then you will get better, and this is, I think, like, ever is soft, not that hard, like, you know, no, I mean, because the role is also strict with, uh, uh, you know, basically hand pass, uh, marking, and kicking. And I think based on my experience, the safety is, I mean, not that hard as the other sport, you know. And then uh, the thing is also, uh, outside of the safety, what I love about AFL in Australia, uh, there is a great opportunity for women to play football. This is that I inspire from Australia. There, the the government in Australia support facility and also uh, football. Women can play football anywhere. While in Indonesia, sometimes you know uh, there is uh, there is a stereotype uh, like women play football or something like that. But basically, we have to break this stereotype that. Uh, women can play football and especially also footy with you know uh, with uh, the rule not that uh, not that tough which is just have fun and i love the fl and about the safety is not that strict as the other sport i think yeah mm, jadi cukup aman ya nak i, I think okay. so yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah how about from you ben do you want to say something oh yeah, and a and a said it beautifully but i think yeah i mean all sport there is there is a little bit of risiko yeah um and and contact australian football is contact sport but um when when we learn australian football it's very small steps each time so on day one you don't tackle and punch or anything it's very slow lap yeah and and it's very you know we're very very careful and and we care for the the health of our of our players and our and our teammates so there's always risk but we just we, we're very careful it's more about just fun and enjoyment Okay, uh, we, I will open for another uh, questions. Uh, anyone of you would like to ask uh, the questions? I think before Erwin uh, Sitepu, are you raising your hand before? Do you want to ask questions, Erwin? Uh, is Erwin here? I think he raised hand before. Okay. How about the other uh, audience? Untuk audience yang lain, apakah ada pertanyaan? Okay, sambil uh, menunggu, ini ada uh, pesan, a message from Arshad uh, yang bertanya tadi ya, at 
first, I think international rules is not just uh, easier to adapt to Indonesian player who are accustomed to soccer rules, but also because it's easier to find soccer field compared to cricket. Uh, thank you for the answer, Mr. Gills and uh, Mrs. Suri, uh, Anna. Yeah. And hope you can play footy sometime in the future. Yeah. Definitely. So we are hoping Definitely. there will be uh, games in, in Medan as well. Yeah. So that's why we are here sure. uh, to socialize about the footy. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ada lagi yang ingin bertanya? Maybe the last uh, questions. Let me check. Hello, Paul. Is that Paul from Paul from Monash? Are you uh, are you in Melbourne or in, in Jakarta? Yeah, we have oh. Paul. Hi, Paul. Hello. I'm I'm in Melbourne, where it's overcast and cold. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh, now, now I see the but, sweater. But I have my Sydney Swans. I have my Sydney Swans flag for tomorrow. You Wonderful. probably can't see it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Are you from Sydney or a South Melbourne supporter? Uh, I'm from Sydney. Sydney, fantastic. Yes, yes. I, pl I played, uh, my father didn't want me to play AFL. He thought <laughs> it was a terrible sport and that, and he never came to watch me play. <laughs> Only my mother came to watch me play. So, wow. uh, but I switched from rugby to Aussie rules because I liked uh, the openness of it and uh, um, and it was freer. You could move forward and back and side. It was much freer sport, much faster sport. The big, the big difference with Australian football to other football codes is that there's no offside, yeah? So it's mm. you can just kick anywhere um, and there'll be a friend or a teammate somewhere. I've just got something here. When you pulled out some merch then, this is our jumper from 1995 uh, in Jakarta, the Jakarta Bintang's jumper. Um, if you can see that, I'm not sure if the screen's on, but um, it's woolen and, it's, and it was horrible. It, it was so hot. <laughs> and, uh, we don't wear that anymore, but it was a woolen jumper from, from, uh, from big country. And uh, we had to wear that for two years. It was very, very difficult. Uh, to wear in the tropics, but uh, thankfully we wear something a little better for the climate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, do we need like a big, uh, like a large field to play uh, footy? Uh, yeah. For for Asiat's point, yes, you need a large field to play footy, mm. and no, there aren't any um, unless we work. We so in the. In what's the Lapang? Is it Pramuka? I think in in Chibubur, mm -hmm. there's a, a large. We have a large cricket oval. They play cricket mm -hmm. on a large oval. We can play there, but every week we do we play football um, at and um, it's just on Lapangan Bola. And so it's just on a soccer field we play, and if we play a little game, yeah, it's modified. We don't play 18 a side. We'll play 10 a side or 12 a side. So, yeah, the rule, we change the rules by our environment. So mm. women, when we have women play, we play with a smaller football. But it's still the same skills, but we just, we have to adapt. Um, we go to K Kuala Lumpur, uh, end of this month, and we'll play on a the field. I think we play fourteen on the on the field, maybe sixteen, fourteen or sixteen. So that's that's quite big. That's quite okay. Uh, so the no, we don't have to play on a big field. No. Plus, we don't have that many people as well. We like to have smaller games with smaller teams. So mm. in, in Australia, where it's colder, they play for maybe 100 minutes. Here we play maybe one quarter, <laughs> <laughs> for 10, 10, maybe 12 minutes. Uh, and 12 minutes in, in these condition is enough. Yeah, Anna, when you when you run run for 12 minutes, it's it's very tiring. So 
our games are a lot shorter as well. Um, sometimes we'll play, yeah, maybe 10 minute halves. And so we'll play halves or what it just, we really do change uh, depending on uh, what the condition is. Yeah, so we can adapt, yeah. Always adapt, okay. always adapt. Yeah, thank you, Ben. And uh, I know uh, because this is our time is up as well. It's already eleven. Would you like to something else, uh, Anna? Please. Um. Yeah. Um. That's the thing about Australians. I mean, uh, from AFL when I was in Indonesia, so uh, the timing, especially, it can be adapt. You know, there are basically four pauses. Uh, if my girls or if we play in Indonesia, and then it become like ten minutes or fifteen minutes in one pause. Yeah. And also my closing statement. <laughs> thank you so much for this world join today. Thank you, Papa. Also, thank you, Buba Iqbardani. Thank you, everyone from Medan who joined this session. This is the first one, the FL tour in Indonesia. We start from university in Al Wasliyah Medan, and also some other university in Medan also join. Thank you so much. Let's work together. <laughs> Basically, sport can make us happy and healthy and also uh, let us getting familiar with AFL footy as our neighbor's sport from Australia and then as we talk that it is unique and have fun so yeah thank you so much for this session Nicha. thank you everyone for coming yeah, thank you as well Anna uh, how about Ben would you like to give a closing statement before we uh, close this um Event. Just just to say thank you very much for having me. Um, I love talking about sport, um, especially Australian football. And um, yeah, I look forward to getting to Medan, Surabaya, anywhere to play, to play more football. Um, and anyone that's interested, please let Anna or, or I know. And uh, we will... Uh, send some footballs, um, it's a flat one, but these are great footballs to learn and play with. Uh, we have lots, so we'll come and play and we'll, we'll send these and let's get started. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Okay, uh, jadi untuk teman-teman yang uh, merasa oh futi ya ingin bermain futi gitu ya uh, boleh nanti sharing di WhatsApp juga bagi yang bergabung di grup. Uh, jadi kita nanti mungkin akan panggil Ben dan Ana ya ke Medan, hopefully. Uh, jadi mungkin kalian bisa request uh, di uh, WhatsApp kita nanti uh, we will find out the way uh, gimana caranya gitu ya. Oke, okay, uh, lastly adalah uh, foto session. Uh, jadi untuk teman-teman mungkin silakan uh, dihidupkan kameranya. Kita akan foto session terakhir um, sambil menunggu teman-teman untuk menghidupkan uh, kamera. Saya bacakan uh, ada pesan dari Arshad. Dia bilang, I believe there are some experimental rule by EFL called EFLX. Oke, okay. mungkin itu di uh, sesi yang selanjutnya ya, <laughs> Arshad. Dan from Toll, from uh, Paul Thomas from Monash University. Uh, there is EFL nines played in the summer, which only needs nine players and is a non-contact sport. Okay, jadi mungkin lebih kecil uh, uh, pemainnya, gitu ya, nggak sebanyak yang sebelumnya. Okay, so yep. Lastly, we will take a picture together. I will uh, wait. I will take our picture uh, for the first slide. So yep, smile. Okay, I will save this. Give me a second. One, okay. And then I will take a picture of our second slide. Give me a second. Okay, wait. All right, so one, two, three. Yep. Okay, I think uh, that's all for today. Um, so to close our event today, let's say Hamdallah, Alhamdulillah, Hirabul Alamin. Thank you very much for um, joining us today, everyone. Hopefully this could be helpful ya. Semoga bermanfaat untuk teman-teman uh, semuanya. Karena kita percaya mensana incorpore sano di dalam uh, jiwa yang sehat, di dalam tubuh yang kuat. Sorry, di dalam tubuh yang sehat terdapat jiwa yang kuat gitu ya. Jadi semoga kita bisa uh, melatih tubuh kita untuk uh, menjadi manusia-manusia kuat dan juga pastinya memiliki jiwa-jiwa atau mental yang kuat. 
uh, yep. terima kasih untuk semuanya untuk hari ini um, yep. oke okay, so uh, that's all for today everyone assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ya